Bowman here from BW1 as I struggle to get into the shot here because I want to give you guys an unboxing setup and first impressions of Lenovo Horizon 2E. It's a pretty cool multi-mode PC. I think a lot of people don't know about these too much and I really want to show what it's all about. So we're going to do, like I said, an unboxing setup and first impressions and we'll have a full review a little bit later on. But let's get right here to the unboxing here. These are pretty cool devices. It really combines pretty much what you want to have in a desktop PC but in not, not taking up all that extra space that a lot of people don't like. Okay, let's pop this open here. We know BW1, we don't use notches, we use whatever sheets sharp around us, or just get the tape and peel it off. Real easy. Boom. Bring this open here. Alright. See what we have. Slide this up. Doesn't want me to slide that up. Nope, it's blocking that. Alright. Slide, slide this up here. All right, it's like the phone. Let's see here, we slide this up, probably. All right, that is the, most likely the Z2E here, what this probably is. We'll just lay that right here on the floor. All right, next thing, let's see what we have. This is, I don't want to pop out and slide out these things. Not exactly sure why. Bring that out there, and then out here. Pull this out. Oh, that's why. There we go. Handles are stuck inside of it. There we go. Boom. Pull that out. Don't have really anything else on the inside there, as you can see. Alright. Let's see what we got here in this box here. But we have the... Alright, we have power. Pretty cool. Uses pretty much one old laptop. Alright, let's see what's milliamp hours is on this. Can't see directly on that. Man. Input. It's like 20 volts or so. Alright, pretty cool. And it's over here. Safety and warranty guide instructions. Let's see what we have here as well. Nice little cleaning cloth. To clean things off as you need to. Alright, that's another piece of plastic. Bring this up. There's probably a keyboard and mouse here. Yep. A nice little keyboard and mouse. Bring this out here. Alright, it's pretty nice, cool feel there for the keyboard and mouse. See that there. Pretty cool. Put like that top there, and this is the mouse. All right, pull that out. Oh, no, pretty cool. See, so like, it take some batteries in here. All right, we don't have the batteries inside there just yet. Cause they take AAA batteries, and we do have the AAA batteries sitting right here. So we'll pop those in in just a second. All right. Let's go and slide this off to the side here. Let's bring this over here. I want to focus on the main thing here, which is Horizon PC here. So, all right, let's pull this bad boy out. There we go. All right, it's pretty cool, pretty nice looking. So, it's pretty much like I said, small to PC. The reason that being is because it can pretty much come in different sort of stand modes. You have right here sort of the tabletop mode, but what you can also do here is kind of bend this back here. And now it stands up as a full PC, which is pretty cool. It has this nice little hinge here, and you can kind of put this hinge sort of at, at, at any angle that you really want it to be. All right, we got a power source and everything plugged into here. One thing I want to make note of, you do have an assortment of USB ports. You have about three USB 3.0 ports on the side, an HDMI slot, a full HDMI slot, and your audio and your SD card slots are on the side, two multimedia card slots right there on the side as well too. So it's on the left side of it. So you can expand and plug things in and out here. So it is a full blown computer here. So let's go ahead and power this bad boy on here for the first time. Power button should be here on the side. Hopefully I hit it. There we go. No wall lighting up here. So one of the things I already like about it is I already like the look, the design. It's pretty nice. Oh, we're already booting into here and one of the things I do want to mention is a, I did say it's 23 inch screen. It's a 21.5 inch display. And here we are. Boom, oh, I'm already clicking on things I don't want to click on. Well, that make a noise? Oh, vibrated. Yeah, okay, it did vibrate. Interesting here. So we have full Windows 8 on here, which is pretty cool, 8.1. We have your, your mouse if you want to do navigation. You saw me navigate here via the touch screen as well too. We have the keyboard as well. We can kind of use the keyboard to navigate. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple things here. Let's jump into the desktop. Right click on here. And let's check out the system specs. 
so we can get make sure everything's accurate here. Your bar is probably case it is far too bright. I'll try to maximize it here a little bit. Not sure if you guys can see that, but a rock in here with an Intel Core i3 processor, the exact model is 4030U. i3 is sort of like the it's sort of the low end of the i series. So when you when, when you're talking um Intel processors, if you guys don't don't know or quite sure, i3, i5, and i7, it kind of follows the same similar model to BMW. The higher the number is, the better it is in that series. So i3 being low, i5 being the middle and i7 being the top of the line there. It's uh, come with four gigabytes of memory and a built into here. We should have some storage. Let's go ahead and check out what we have on for storage. Looks like we have about a one terabyte drive of storage. So that's pretty cool. So you have one terabyte of storage inside of here. It's gonna come up to about 900 gigabytes or so, but some of it's obviously taken away through the OS and such, so. Mm -hmm. Full touch screen, you have the little home screen button there. Let's take a look at some of the apps you can kind of bust out. I know this isn't connected to the internet. I'm pretty sure we have wireless inside of here to kind of do some extra things here with it as the news is kind of sitting there. But you get an idea, quick idea of what full screen apps looks like, look like. We're gonna mess around with some of the Lenovo apps as well too as, as we have time to go through the review here. Um, pretty interesting. Looks like it's look like looks like it has NFC. I just noticed right down here at the bottom is an NFC tag. Interesting. I wonder what that's going to be able to sort of do. We'll probably be maybe to connect some Bluetooth speakers or something to this to get some additional audio if we want to out of it. Uh, let's see what else we can look at here. You have on key recovery. Let's look at some of the additional apps. There we go. Looks like little photos. Oh, oh, let's bring that back down here. Bring up here. Swipe up. Swipe over here. All right, it's pretty cool. You have your typical apps inside of here. It's pretty nice. And so far, this screen's been pretty responsive as well, too. Bring it down here a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking. Cool. All right, so I just connected to some wireless internet around here to get it kind of set up here. Let's go ahead and jump into, uh, let's go to a browser, check out bw1.com, see what it looks like on here on this nice big screen. All right, as I type that in wrong, of course. So bring that up. We're using Air Explorer. There we go. Just to kind of take a look at the website, BW1. Cool, cool, cool. Swipe up and down. Let's take a look at some videos that we have here. Uh, we'll start going to add our article here. Click in between that. See how web browsing here is. It's pretty cool actually to web browse on something of this size. It's pretty cool actually. We'll play a video. Then let's talk about some of the Nexus stuff here. The audio. Interesting. Oh, actually, just clicked it to play on YouTube, but I actually want to maximize that. All right, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys will check this out. Let's start off with the next. All right, it's pretty nice, pretty full screen video. We'll have to watch some movies and stuff on here. So we're getting kind of familiar with this little bad boy here. I'm actually having some fun here with it, but I'm gonna log into it, do a couple of things. Let me know what you guys want me to do if you want me to do any type of gaming. Maybe I'll do some little casual gaming on here. Um, I'll maybe do some video editing or some little different powerful things on here. You guys gotta let me know what you want me to do while I'm doing a review here of the Horizon 2E. Uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. I do like what I see from it so far. Interesting device, nice solid tabletop PC. You can see fits right here. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Pretty light, easy to move around. I already feel like I can move this someplace else and it comes out of the way. And when I bring it over, I can use it right in the middle of the table. Not really have too many issues with it. So that is our unboxing setup and first impressions of Lenovo Horizon 2E. Like I said, questions, comments, concerns, post them in the comment section below. If you think anybody would find this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like and share it around. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, connect with us on all the social networks like I always say, and on our main website at BW1. The link to all of that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.